my love for traveling, that basically came about from a young age. And in winter, we would often go away uh, to places like Europe, which is where my dad is from. So we'd go there in their summer, and we'd also go to like Thailand, Bali, and other locations diving. After my accident, I thought my days of traveling were done, to be honest with you, because traveling with uh, my level of disability uh, becomes very difficult. You need to have uh, good carers and you also need to travel with shower chairs and ensure that hotels have roll-in showers. My mum actually booked my first overseas holiday to Bali after my accident and uh, I was really quite nervous about it. I was stressed out and when we uh, arrived there, I remember looking out the window and just thinking, oh, I shouldn't have come because I was worried. But uh, after, you know, honestly, 12 hours there, I was in love with it again. Drone-wise, basically the reason I went down that pathway is because I uh, have no use of my fingers in my hands. Uh, so basically what I originally was hoping is that I'd just be able to use my thumbs on the joysticks. Basically, uh, we're on the balcony just enjoying the afternoon and this huge pot of dolphins came around the, the headland. I said to Jess, I was like, quick, grab my drone and raced over the road and I sent it up there and I filmed the dolphins as they surfed the waves for a good three sets of batteries anyway. It was awesome and there was a purple haze in the sky, the beautiful water. I try not to let the wheelchair hold me back from doing anything. I'm super lucky to have people that are willing to help me out, lifting me in and out of unusual places so that I can uh, go and drone somewhere, hoisting me onto a boat, in and out of taxis when I'm overseas, helping with my personal care. My mum's been awesome for that. I've almost been in the wheelchair now for 10 years. And I've almost forgotten what life, life was before uh, because I've, ha I've had a full lifetime in this chair and it's been a good lifetime. Everybody has to deal with some in life and I'm certainly not gonna let my accident define me. I'm just gonna keep pushing forward and uh, doing the best I can to achieve as much as I can. Uh -huh.